Hey y'all, I just wanted to make a short video about uh, actually my first election in Thailand. Um, I actually got to vote last month, uh, a little over a month ago. I wanna tell you a little bit about it. Okay, so I showed up with my family at our local uh, voting location and luckily for me, it was right next door. So after showing my Thai ID, I was given two ballots. Uh, one was purple and one was green. And if I remember correctly, the purple one uh, had 10 numbered options on it. And that was to vote for your local rep. Uh, the green one had like 67 numbers on it. Um, and that was the vote for uh, the party that you think should lead Thailand. Um, so then uh, I got I got the ballots. Uh, then I walk over to a booth. You know, it's like those like typical ones we have in America, little cubby things. You mark who you're uh, voting for, for on each ballot, and then you drop off each ballot in their respective boxes. When uh, voting times uh, ended, I was actually uh, able to walk back over and see what they were doing, and they were counting the ballots out loud. So they would open uh, the ballot box, pull out a ballot, and then read out loud the result, and then someone else would mark it on the um, the, like a flip chart paper, it, like a tally sheet. It was a very slow process, as you can imagine, and I live in a very small voting location, so um, I wonder how crazy it would, would be in a bigger voting location. Okay, so uh, what were the results of the election? Um, before I get into that, let me do a quick backstory about how elections in Thailand have normally gone over the last 22, 23 years. Uh, normally there's an election, and then there's a short time where that person who won uh, is in power and then the military decides they don't like that and then they stage a coup and then they take over the government. Uh, and then after a little while, there an election is called um, and that person is in power for a short little while and then the military decides they don't like that and stages a coup uh, and takes over the government. Um, and sprinkled in there are courts uh, occasionally dissolving parties, getting rid of candidates or uh, politicians and sending them to exile. Uh, so that's fun. So who's in charge right now? It's the military. Um, the military led a coup in 2014. They took over the government, exiled the democratically elected prime minister, created their own constitution. Uh, they gave the military lots of powers and created a Senate that was appointed, not elected by the military. Um, and that is the current government of Thailand. Okay, so back to the election results. Uh, so the Move Forward Party, or the Gao Gai Party, uh, the most progressive party in Thailand, uh, you know, the party that wants to do things like give gay and trans people legal rights, um, as well as even sex workers, they got the most votes at uh, 38%, I believe, uh, and this surprised a lot of people, including me. Um, the second highest uh, vote getter was uh, the Pew Thai party, which I thought was going to get the most. Um, and that is led by the daughter of the former prime minister who is currently exiled Taksin. Uh, this party is also pretty liberal. Uh, they like gays too and want to give them rights, uh, but their big thing is business. So think like gay tourism, good for business. Uh, and then the party that got the most, or sorry, the party that got the third highest vote was uh, the current military party. Um, and Thailand isn't a winner-takes-all type, so uh, sadly the Move Forward party doesn't just like step in and uh, take the lead. I could get into this a little bit more, but the video would get very long. The top line is that it's sort of similar to America's um, Electoral College, so uh, popular vote only goes so far. There are other ways uh, that they have to sprinkle that in to pick the new ruling leader. Remember, Hillary Clinton got 2.9 million more votes than Donald Trump, but uh, yeah, we know who became president, unfortunately. In Thailand, uh, the Senate has to vote uh, also on prime minister and, and the ruling party, um, and that is similar to America's Electoral College. Uh, and remember, this is the Senate that was uh, created by a military constitution and was appointed by the military and most if not all of the senators are military officials so that's that um, there's basically so many things that could happen that wouldn't be far different than what has happened in the past from courts 
uh, dissolving the move forward party or um, getting rid of uh, the, the person at the head of it or um, the military just deciding they want to stay in power and or um, if they need to stage another coup. I, I do think that if the move forward party doesn't have a leadership role in the future of Thai government though, I think there will be protests in the streets for sure. Um, I was just at uh, Bangkok Pride and to see the youth movement and queer people out there fighting for their rights was awesome. Uh, but you can also tell that they are very angry that they don't have a lot of rights. So uh, they're looking for change. So that was my first election in Thailand. And it feels like the election's still going on because nothing has changed and nothing's been decided. And in the news, there's um, like stories every day about political drama happening. We'll see who ends up leading Thailand and we might not have an answer for a while. It's so funny. I, I took a sabbatical from American politics, but here I am pretty interested in Thai politics. So yeah. All right, I'll see y'all next time.